What's up guys? We're going through some more Blacephalon testing today. I've been working with this deck for quite a while. Made some a few changes. A few of the techs kind of weren't working out the way I wanted them to. I've seen a lot of people with these lists go more heavy on the Naganadal GX and just a regular Naganadal. Some lists playing up to eight of them. And it seems to be pretty consistent when you play it that way, but a lot more volatile because you're a lot more reliant on your GX attackers and always being able to hit the B-strings and the welders very often. So it can fall apart pretty easily if you don't hit the correct things. We do want to try to fit Custom Catcher in here for sure. So trying to work out what we want to cut from it. We'll most likely end up cutting probably two Giant Hearts for sure. And we want to keep Heat Factory and Ultra Space for sure. But most likely the two Pokey Gears, a Giant Hearth, and probably a Lily for four Custom Catchers, but we'll see. That's currently what we have going on. So let's see if we can play a couple games on the ladder and just see if we can get some post-rotation matches. Hopefully we do get some. Currently there's a ton of people still using pre-rotation decks, which, you know, I understand. A lot of people have some old favorites rotating, and players like to play Expanded as well, but... It would be nice to be able to just play post rotation. Um, fire normal. Reshizard Snorlax, maybe? Snorlax Eevee? We'll see. I doubt this is post rotation, though. Calling the coin flip. Hey. Yes, let's go first. First turn, Lily, that's good. That's really good. But not really a way to. Dump a lot from the hand, so not as good. You definitely attach an energy fellow pokey gear. Okay, so a Charizard deck. Um, we're gonna throw the pokey gear away. Just fail that. Um, we could welder, attach the energy, draw through, but it's at seven cards. Or we can attach the energy, Lily, and draw four cards, which is what we're gonna do. Yeah. Um, Ultra Space is good. Get us a Poi Pole. We've got the treasure to get another Poi Pole. I'm going to discard the Lily. Because we're definitely going to need that Fire Energy for next turn. I would have discarded that. But if he bumps our Stadium, that could be bad. So we'll see. And if this is a non GX deck, that could also be a pretty big issue. Glycephalon really hurts when it's not trading two for three prizes. That's usually why it does so well against the current tag team decks. Just constantly trading for that one extra prize. Two tag team knockouts for the game. Usually pretty good. Okay, shirt Charmanders. There's a few different Charizards you could be playing. I wonder which one. Hopefully, there's the one that uh, does extra damage to EX and GX. There's the one that does um, the charging up one. Um, um, let's do this. Let's welder first. Actually, no, I should have. Mm, that's, that's a hard one. That's really hard to justify what choice was better. I could have done this, and then Naganado just discarded this for it. But. It really doesn't matter. We'll save this next turn for the welder. Uh, yeah. Let's just go ahead and mind blow. Take a prize. I guess these non-GX decks, the burst GX that Lucephalon has is huge for the prize race. Just to be able to not have to worry about running out of all of your energies. Because if the base Pokemon they're playing has more than 150 health, Having to get rid of four energies every single turn to get a knockout, the deck just doesn't play enough energies for that. And then our other attacker, being the Naganado GX, also has to discard energies, and then we're forced to use a baby Naganado. But then we have the, you know, the turning point at, at three prize cards. That's a knockout. Ooh, Heat Factory. That's good for us. Which it can be if we draw fire, but we're most likely gonna have to bump it with Giant Hearth. But that would help our opponent as well. This. He is post rotation so far. A skateboard, yeah. Okay. He's just gonna give up another Charmander. That's good. That's good. Okay. Um. Okay. That's fine. We'll do another game. 
I believe we did have that one though. We had just started off really, really quickly. We had a lot of options there to just advance our board set even farther. Okay, a water deck. Let's see how this goes. Gyarados coin, of course. All right, we go first again. That's awesome. Couple, good hand, good hand. I like this. If one of the Cynthia's was a Lily, it'd be better. But so far, so good. Now, what could this deck be? Blastoise, maybe. It's Persian. I don't know. Uh, yeah, we want this boy pull down. We're going first, it doesn't matter. Oh, the Gyarados deck. Ooh, okay. Um, what do I want to do? Do I want a Welder draw three? Cynthia? We need to get Naganados going very, very fast. So we'll go ahead and drop that guy. I think I'm going to Welder and hopefully get something to get us a Naganado GX. Okay, that's fine. Another Poipole, that's never bad. Just attached to one of the Poipoles. First turn, can't do anything. That's good, three energies on the first turn is really good. If we'd have had those on a Blacephalon, that's good, but we probably won't play a Blacephalon in this matchup. If we can take a knockout with our Naganado with Turning Point, we could probably just steamroll through from that point on, depending on this deck's consistency. Yeah, and Luminous Barrier. Yeah, we're definitely just not going to play with Cephalon this match. That's good. That's exactly what we wanted. I am going... Just manual attach, which got charged up. Yeah, that was bad. Um, that's fine. Ooh, we've got the reset stamp though to lose the Gyarados. That's huge. That reset stamp is huge. And we can just charge this one up. So that works out, because I would have just charged there and just attached here. So no difference. The V synergy will be a big thing in this matchup. Yeah, Poke Gear is definitely pretty useless in this deck. I don't think that I've needed it at any point because we are playing 12 supporters, being 4 Welder, 4 Lily, 4 Cynthia. So definitely cutting the 2 Poke Gears, a Lily, and then most likely a Giant Hearth for the Custom Catchers. And that will probably be the list that I stick with for a while. Yeah, he's just got an anti-GX deck. Let's just stick with the baby Nagas. That should help us a lot. Any two cards. That's nice. I can't remember Gyarados' attack. It's been so long since I've versed this deck. I know he checks the top 7 or 9, I believe, and for every water energy. I think it does like 30, maybe 40 damage. He's definitely going to evolve this into a Gyarados. Yeah. Yeah, it's 7 cards, 30 more damage. So it can do up to 240 damage. Dumbbells. Okay. Two. Wait, whoa. I said two. Did it not? Okay, that's odd. I swear that said two. Um, let's see here. This is going to be a rough matchup. Let's just charge this guy up. Okay, yeah, that 190 HP is going to be hard to hit. We're definitely going to have to... Knock that out. This turn, if we can. Let's get rid of this Lily. Gx. 
I don't know if water lets me attach free synergy. No, it does not. This matchup's gonna be heavily favored in if he hits water energies off the top, so it's kind of coin flip. If he misses knock a knockout here, we'll be able to catch back up, but if not, we will be completely reliant on B strings. And if we're not able to hit a lot of those, we're gonna have to use Pacephalon, and he can just drop the Nine Tails and the Shrines. Which we knocked out a Vulpix and a Shrine, so he may not play too many of those options, which is good. Rescue Stretcher, okay. Ultra Ball, I didn't see that, Guzma. Oh my goodness. Insane. Phew, man. Um. Version this guy. Hit him with the second one. That works. So many energy in the discard, though. Yeah, we did have two fire energies for Blissful, which is good. Um, we definitely need to get Poipol down. If we do have another one, we have a Naga in our hand. And yeah, this is going to be rough. We got through two B strings, which we'll have another turn for B string. Um. We've definitely got to Venom shot this guy. So, fun fact, when using beast energy, it's only the extra, extra 30 damage on the active. Okay, I guess that would be kind of insane if we could hit the back row for 200. But he's going to distill blast us again, and most likely get the knockout, and if he does, we will just FF. Try to get another quick game in. He's got, what, 35 cards in deck? I mean, how many energies does he really play? There's two there. Whoa, there's one more there than I thought. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Looks like he's not really getting a big hand either. This could be salvageable. Okay, yeah, that, that hurts. So... Does he knock out here? Ooh, that's big. Drop that just cuz, drop that just cuz. So, we can retreat with Cephalon, knock this out. He switches into Alolan Ninetales, we switch to this guy. Turning point for 160, that should put us where we need to be. Everybody went through our whole deck though. Okay, let's just Cynthia, see what we get. No, this is really, we can be string if there is anything even in here. There's one energy. Play it on this guy. Giant Hearts is useless at this point. What's in the deck? No, nothing. So we need to win with what is on our board. We've got to ditch three energies from somewhere.
Okay, he's going to promote Alola Nantels. We're going to burst GX. Hopefully he gets stuck here. Switch into this guy at three prize card. Ooh, that's not going to work. Mm. And retreating is not smart because we want to get that burst GX attack off. Is there anything in here that we want? Negative. We don't want any of that. Um, does this going anywhere matter? Is Mew really a win condition here? Or maybe we can just hold the energy. Does it make it... All effects of attacks. Yeah, that would stop it. Let's just burst GX. Ooh. Ooh, okay. That's big. I must have miscounted my energies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fourteen. Okay, so there's these are both energies. Okay. We play sixteen energies. He has that but no retreat. Um So this is where it gets weird. The choices we make here could lose us the game. There actually might, may not be a way to win this. We could retreat, retreat into Mew. Hit this for three, putting it at 80, which is in range. It may not get knocked out. Hit this for three again and just kind of go from there because anything we do to this is useless. And he's just going to sit there until he is able to... Might as well charge up this guy. Now that's one hitable with not gonna deal. We need to get this there. Come on, pass. Pass and we win. Pass and we win. Well, not technically, but close. Oh, no. Is he going to retreat, though? If he knocks out Mew... Yeah. Yeah, we've most likely... This is going to get coin flippy. There's really nothing we can do. We have to just turning point. These are the kind of matchups I really want to play some kind of energy retrieval. But these matchups are so far and few between that I don't think it really matters. Yeah, he got this. Well played, my man. Well played. Go ahead and give him that one. We'll try and squeeze one more in. See what we get. Hopefully it's something post rotation. I know I've said that a lot. Um Ooh, please be the Haxorus deck. The Haxorus deck from Unified Minds, I love it. I love tinkering with that deck. It's so fun. I just hate how hard setup decks are right now with the stage twos. It's just almost impossible to guarantee consistency. Let's just go ahead and concede this one. Let's try one more game. Get a post rotation matchup. That was a lot of types in one deck. El Pidgey. Please be a man of science and playing post rotation. Open up a cephalon? No, we have to mulligan. He's got Reshizard sleeves, so some type of Reshizard tech deck. Maybe a Mewtwo box? I can't remember if I saw Psychic. That is gross, sir.
Extra card, and we're going to see what he's playing. Whoa, I hit the mulligan three times. That's weird. Okay. Um, we're just going to go ahead and out of the gate reset Snafu. We don't want you having that many cards this early on. Um... Grab another one of these? I think so. Uh, I want to play the DNA in the deck, because one of the DNA never hurts, but. Bridge Space really isn't that tight in this deck either. But we don't play a lot of search options. We'd have to play Pokecom, and I just don't want to put Pokecom in this deck. Oh, a mirror match! Okay. Oh, this is definitely not a mirror match. This is definitely a mirror box. Okay. We should do well into this, though. We should be able to outpace him a lot. I think what we want to do here is get the Naganado GX, ditch this one, and try and hit a Blacephalon and start stacking it. We need to get out of this dead hand. We need to see some supporters. Okay, that's excellent. That's actually great. We're gonna hold him. We're gonna hold everything. Get the first pass card of the game. Lily. You too, Mew. So we're assuming he plays Mac Cargo, yeah. And then a way to search for top three. Maybe how to draw top three? I don't really think there's. I want to see what he's going to do to draw the top card. Okay. Weakness energy. Okay. Weird. Okay. I do like Echo Bike. I would like to have Echo Bike in the stick. Ooh, there goes the Custom Catcher. This is big. Good post rotation matchup. Brock's a lily. A welder. Okay, so he's definitely going to be able to get a hit off this turn. Yeah, he's going to go for the Blacephalon here. The mind blown. Yeah, that's his only option. But that is him discarding three energies, three fire energies from play. And I know Mewbox may not play that many. He would rather that be a rescue's art, I'm sure. Which is probably what he's looking for. Just any other attacker. This Nagano Dell's <laughs> definitely gone. I wish we could have gotten a Blacephalon. The dinner, he's, oh my goodness. Eight cards. What did you have that was that dead? A Persian man, Cargo GX. What in the world? Pokecom. All four Acrobikes are gone. A Switch. So many pieces he just dropped. A Custom Catcher. I don't know if that was smart. Maldino. He's already down to 19 cards in his deck on the second turn. But he doesn't really play a lot of options for. Mew Mew. I mean, what can he do? Vengeance me? That would... Uh, 20, 40... Is it 20? Yeah, 20, 40, 60, 80. Plus 10, 90. That's not enough. Lava Flow. He could discard three fire energies using Mercargo GX. I 
That's such a good mon. Like, that is arguably good or better than Bacephalon, I think. The only thing that reason that people play Bacephalon over this is Beast Man. Okay, yeah, I think our opponent realized he lost so many options there off of that Dene. He probably, if we return, knocked out him that next turn, which I honestly don't think that we could have done. But we could have gotten close. If we hit a Bacephalon, maybe. But if we would have taken a knockout there, he most likely would have just fell apart. The deck was neat, though. But that's, that's all we're going to do today. I do thank you guys for watching. Have a great day, and I hope you enjoyed.